But one thing that I saw on TV that I really enjoyed was that cinematic piece with Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns. If you miss this, eight minutes of, I'm saying pure bliss. I, I love that piece. And, you know, just incredibly produced. You know, Jeremy Barash, who used to do a lot of stuff for TNA is with WWE now, was apparently the driving force behind producing that thing. They, if you missed it, they went to Georgia Tech Stadium, mm-hmm. Roman Reigns entourage driving him in, and Roman walking out to the 50-yard line, and then Cody coming in in his car and meeting them to have a little discussion about this tag team match that they're going to be having at Bad Blood. And just the two of them blew it out of the water. And it was so well produced. I mean, it was it was movie quality. And I wasn't that excited about this tag match until I saw that piece. And now I'm like, I could care less about the rest of the card. I'm ready to see that match and what happens because of that promo. And it was it was just so well done, Stu. What I mean, that's one of the best ones I've ever seen in in professional wrestling. It was very well done. And of course, I mean, Jer- Jeremy Borash is is honestly just about among the best at creating that kind of t- content. He did he did the uh, what was it the ultimate deletion or whatever. Yeah, uh, back in TNA, he's done he's done stuff throughout his career, both TNA and WWE. So he know he knows what he's doing. He really does. The you know yeah the that you know having them come to the fifty yard line there at Georgia Tech, you know in in Roman talking about you know it's his place. Which all right, fine. I don't think he's the most. I don't think he's the most well known Yellow Jacket, but sure. Um. And by the by the way, Georgia Tech lost yesterday to Louisville, but that's another story. Wow, taking the pot shot. And it, well, and and then <laughs> Cody, I know Cody's a Georgia Bulldog fan. Who, by the way, at least uh, I assume in the next AP poll, they'll be number two behind, of course, University. <laughs> you had to get that in, didn't you, Stu? Damn right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's great. It's been hey, it's been. Six eight uh sixteen years since we were number one. So you got to take got to take the moment. Yeah, enjoy it. Anyway, it was really good. If you haven't seen it, WWE's YouTube channel has it up. Uh, but really well done. I was intrigued already. If for no other reason, I want to see let's see the interaction between Cody and Roman. You know, uh we'll see. You know, so yeah, that that'll be good. You know, could this be when they finally debut Hikaleo as a as the newest member of the Bloodline? We shall see. They haven't debuted him yet. Um. So, but yeah, a lot that is that's very intriguing. If anything, it has helped to revive a little bit of the excitement around the Bloodline story. That honestly probably took a little bit of backseat after WrestleMania. Um, yeah, it's I now kind of starting to starting to heat up again. So, but yeah, well done. I mean, it, in WWE, look, I, I think WWE could do well to do more of the, more of that type of content. Yeah. And, and just kind of tie all this together. Now you see, you know, with like what Rob fitting and, and has done over at, wwe since he took over for kevin dunn and now you know you're coming you're seeing all sorts of different camera shots and then aw is doing some different things and you've seen tna is the tna has always been very underrated for some of the production stuff that they do but it it also i think is seeing something like that raises the entire bar for professional wrestling Mm -hmm. Because now you're looking at, well, now you're getting these huge TV deals. You're you're doing all this neat streaming stuff. And, you know, I'm curious to see what the uh, what the results are going to be at places like TNA. Like MLW, who just, you know, got a nice $20 million influx from WWE. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, even like the NWA. Uh, are these... Are these companies now looking and saying, man, you know, we've been doing things this way for so long. Is it time that we step our game up? And, you know, I, I, obviously some of that is budgetary that 
you know, WWE has the ability to do things other companies don't. But, you know, you maybe you throw a little money at something every once in a while when you can and say, you know, we've got to, we've got to, you know, like for the NWA, we've got to produce something really cool to get people's attention for a title match we've got coming up at like NWA 77, you know, and stuff like that. I'm, I'm intrigued by how the rising tide is going to raise all these boats doing stuff like this. I, th- I think that, you know, um, it does show that production is a huge part of the success of a wrestling promotion. Look, TNA has been, and they have been on a roll for the last, I don't know, two, three years, at least coming out of the pandemic. They have put on some fantastic shows. Uh, AEW, of course, you know, they're doing more and more stuff. The, 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 the new look of WWE, of course, is fantastic. And I think it's, it's, it's a matter of whether you're talking, you know, Triple H and Lee Fitting, you're talking Tony Khan, you're talking, you know, uh, the, the folks at TNA or, you know, um, Billy Corgan with NWA, you know, Court Bauer with, with MLW. It's, it's, I think it's a matter of, all right, maybe we need to look at our production. Maybe we need to look at some of the things, you know, you, we, you know, the, there's been a traditional presentation of pro wrestling and, you know, and that presentation is now changing. Yes. uh, Almost weekly. Mm -hmm. It is. Some of these other companies need to pay attention to it. Yes, they can't do all. They can't do it all, but there are some things they could probably incorporate with with modest expenditure, and I think it could help. Yeah, like you said, I think it could help them all. It's it is an interesting time, like you said, with pro wrestling uh, right now. Yeah, we're we're not stuck back in Kevin Dunn nineteen eighty nine. You know, it's 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 time to push time to push the push the envelope just a little bit hi pro wrestling fans marco here i'd really appreciate it if you would take a moment to join the marco show family and please click on the subscribe button below also please stick around and check out the incredible sponsor of this video thanks for joining us and we'll see you again on the marco show youtube channel hey there adventure seeker Ready to unlock incredible hotel deals? Get a free membership and save up to 50%. Stay grand. Spend less. The simplest site. The best unpublished hotel deals. TheTravelShark.com